per your frequent requests, I finally decided to make a loadout video. This video will entail the personal equipment and weapon systems I chose to use at Milsom West Caspian Strike and why. Also, big shout out to Sal and Ryan for helping me with this video. And for the impressionist dudes watching, there is a lot of farb. I don't give a fuck. As a preface to the gear you're about to see, a lot of this gear is used for work, so some items may not be set up how actual Russians would. With the ongoing war in Ukraine, import restrictions prevent Russian gear from making its way into the US, also making it difficult to source the kosher version of some equipment. This loadout is my rendition of an ATAX FG slash multicam urban combat FSB kit, featuring my GHK AK-105 in an alpha configuration. To start things off, my base uniform is an ANA combat top in ATAX FG, with an Ars Arma G3 pants set, also in ATAX FG. I'm running a generic black balaclava. As for my gear, my belt is a Cry AVS belt, my plate carrier is a Cry AVS, my helmet is an Ops Core SF in Ranger Green. Getting into each item, we'll start with the belt. On the right side, I've got a general purpose nutsack pouch that I use for grenades most of the time. Behind that is my knockoff Safari Land holster from my Umarex Glock 19 Gen 4. I've also got an SSO reflective armband, which is reversible, that I wear on my arm or on my belt, depending on the situation. On the back of the belt, I have a multi-tool, and next to it I have my Blue Force Gear IFAC with a cat tourniquet just above it. Rear left side is my dump pouch. It's a crappy condor that I cut the liner out of. It serves its purpose well, costs me about $10, and rolls up out of the way when I don't need it. I didn't want the belt to be too off-balanced with the heavy gas mags, so I opted for two magazine pouches on the left side. They are LBT single mag pouches with bungees that fit both AK mags and M4 mags. Now that we've covered the belt, let's cover my Cry AVS. On the front side, I have the standard triple mag flap with the bungee retention system. They don't work great for AK mags, but I'd like to get the triple flap pouches in the future. On top of that, I have a Warrior Assault Systems general purpose pouch and an HSGI pistol mag pouch next to it. On my right side, I run an Eagles Industries canteen pouch, and on my left, I have an Embitter pouch integrated in the cummerbund, and an Eagle Industries mag pouch on top of that. For my radio, I use a Baofeng UV5R with a Disco 32 push to talk. On my back, I typically run with an FSB patch, an Eagle Industries mag pouch for uh, various items like uh, extra green gas, mags, etc., and uh, my Camelback Pactine, which is not featured in the video. Moving on to the helmet, it's an Opscore SF with the Lux liner. My NVGs are RNVGs with surplus Omni green FOSS tubes. They are mounted by a Noritos AKA2 mount and powered by a low profile battery pack by AB Night Vision. My ear pro are Peltor Compact 3s, which I hook to my Disco 32 push to talk. They are mounted via 3M arc rail adapters. I usually run either green or orange glints with a name tape glint on my battery pack. I also have a Princeton Tech MPLS in IR and red light options. Finally, we move on to the AK. As you well know, it's a GHK AK-105. I've installed LCT Z-Series furniture, such as the B30 plus B31 rails, B13 optic mount, and Matrix RK-3 pistol grip. Just a note on the RK-3, the screws are out of spec to GHK, so you'll need to find a separate nut and bolt to fit it properly. Internally, I have a Hephaestus fire control group and bulk carrier. Never had any issues with Hephaestus, highly recommend them. 
For the hop-up, I use the maple leaf system, including the barrel, unit, and their yellow bucking. The yellow bucking seems to hop two weights with 1.5 joules just fine. I would use heavier BBs, but I'd rather stick to two weights as that's what Milsom West usually supplies. The muzzle I have is an Azura Dynamics flash hider with a Spitfire Tracer unit inside. At this specific event, I used an EOTech EXPS 3-2 with a G33 magnifier. On the fore end of the gun, I've mounted a Soma Gear Purst 4 and an Arasaka 300 series light with a Malkoff head. I also have an LCT Z series RK1 vertical grip. And with that, this concludes my loadout video. Make sure you like the video and comment letting me know what you want to see next. I'll have some gameplay content coming up in the next couple weeks, so keep an eye out. <laughs> Once again, thanks for watching and subscribe for more Gas Blowback Rust 4 content. Hey, you look like Slenderman right now.